this step then is all about getting walls put around our level to encase the player and to make the level look more complete. So let's have a look at that. The first thing we'll need to do is bring in some more of the static meshes that we downloaded earlier. So let's set about doing that. So I'll open my content drawer. I'm gonna right click in some empty space and click on import, which is up at the top. Okay, this time we're gonna bring in three meshes at once and I'm gonna to need to select more than one object. So the way I'll do that is I'll get back wall first. So I just clicked on that once. And then to select the next one, which is gonna be wall panels, I'm gonna hold control on my keyboard, left click, and that will add to my selection. And I'll do that one more time, control and left click for wall sci-fi. So back wall, wall panels, wall sci-fi are the three meshes that we need. And we'll click on open. The setting should be fine because Unreal Engine remembers the settings and we've already done it with the floor. So it's generating missing collision, it's combining meshes, and it is not creating new materials. So then we can just click on import all. There we go. And we've got our three meshes. And now you can see they've all got asterisks because they've not been saved yet. So we need to go through and add the materials and save each one of these. So we'll start with the back wall. And while we're looking at this one, I will show you something that I tend to do. So I don't like having this as a separate window that you have to open and close. I like it to be part of my main Unreal Engine interface. And the way I do that is I grab this tab here, tear it away, and then I dock it alongside the level. And now I find it a lot easier to work between assets and the, the game itself. Anyways, um, so we've done that and we need to put some materials on this. So I'm going to start by highlighting. So this here in this case is like the accent color. So what we're going to do is give that the basic floor color, which is the blue. And the other one's going to have the asset platform, which is kind of this industrial gray color. And we'll save that. And then I'm going to go back to the level here, open my content browser and we'll go for wall panels. This one's got two materials again, but these nuts and bolts, I want to have like a metallic element to them. So you can see they're material too when I highlight them. So we're gonna just do a search for chrome. And we've got an M underscore metal chrome for this. So we'll choose that and that's gonna make those look pretty sexy. And then the other one's gonna have that asset platform industrial gray color going on very nice so that's two done you can see i'm just leaving them open up here in case i want to come back change any materials or anything and then the final one is the wall sci-fi there it is and we're going to work out which ones we've got so this one here is the accent color so we're going to make that one basic floor give that the blue tint this one here is the industrial gray i believe so let's see if i like that one Yes, I do. And we've got a pipe down here. Let's just highlight that. And we're going to give this one what's called, um, what is it? Brushed nickel. So there we go. That gives it a nice metallic little thing going on there. And save. So we've now brought in all three of these and applied their material. So I can now close their static mesh editor windows. We'll start by adding the back wall then which is here, and this one goes behind the player. So I'm just gonna drop this into my level. I'm gonna set it to zero, zero, zero. Maybe I'm not actually, well, we'll set it to that. That just means that I get it all zeroed where I want it. I'm then gonna go to my rotate tool and rotate it 90 degrees on this axis, and then back to my move tool, and I'm gonna move it back like that. You see my snaps are still set to 50, so everything's gonna line up properly and then we're gonna move it across here. And you can see once it's in line here, it's still got some overhang over here, which is intentional, uh, but we're just gonna even that out by moving it over a couple more, so it's still pretty centered, there we go. So that's the back wall in place. Next, we're gonna add a wall over here. For that one, we're gonna have the SM wall panels, so we'll just drop that in like that. I'm gonna set it to zero, 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 so I know roughly where I am. Then I'm gonna move it back and move it across until it joins up here. So that's good. And then you can see this doesn't go all the way over like the back wall did. So I need to duplicate this. So Alt on my keyboard, and then I'm gonna drag on the move tool and put that in place like that. So that's now that wall complete, starting to look pretty nice. And then we're gonna bring in the sci-fi wall over here. So here it is. I'm just gonna drop that there and you can see it's probably worth pointing this out these walls are one-sided so when you look at them from that angle they're see-through when you look at them from the correct angle they're 
they're not see-through, which is pretty standard game development stuff. So don't worry about that. That's how it should be. Okay, so I need to get this one rotated and put into place. So I'm now going to start using my keyboard shortcuts for these tools. So it's E on my keyboard for the rotate tool, and we'll rotate it by 90 degrees, and then W on my keyboard for the move tool. And then we're going to move that back into place and over here. Really good. And then we need a copy of that. So I'm going to do Alt and drag over here and put it there. And one thing that we need to think about here is if you watch this pipe, it kind of runs up here at an angle, but then sort of stops. And it sh like you could argue maybe something's happening in these wall pieces here, but it would just be easier if we flipped the, the wall piece to make it look like that, that pipe continues. And we can do that with the scale tool. So I'll put my scale tool on, which is this one here. We've not really used it yet. So I'll click on it there. And I'm just going to drag on this axis here. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to see which numbers are moving over here. And I can see it's the middle one. And so we'll put it back to its proper size, 1. And if we make it minus 1, so if we invert that, it will flip the asset. And then if I go back to my move tool and move it back into place, you can see that pipe now continues through and that's what we wanted so what we need to do now is create one more copy because i want one here and then we'll be about done with the walls so i'm going to do um rotate tool this time i'm going to do alt and rotate it by 90 degrees here i'm going to move it back into place which is there and then you can see i've got the problem with the pipe again so instead of being minus one on the scale we'll make it one. Oh, hello and then i need to just reposition that again there we go. And I'm going to press escape to deselect it. Okay, that to me it looks like all the walls are now in place. We're just going to leave a gap over here because that's where the door is going to go later. And we'll just test it with the player to see how this feels. So walls feel nice and high and imposing. We can't get through them, which is always a good sign. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So I'll just hit escape to get out of there. And we can wrap this step up. So we've brought in uh, some more meshes. We've reinforced the learning of adding materials using the static mesh editor. I've also introduced you to the rotate and the scale tools. So that's good learning too. And in the next step, we're going to reinforce that learning further by adding some more meshes. And we're also going to have another pass at some lighting to make the new meshes that we bring in look even more interesting. So I will see you in the next step where we make our floor look sexier than it already does. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and enjoyable. If you're eager to dive deeper into game development with Unreal Engine 5, I have a fantastic recommendation for you. I highly recommend checking out the course Unreal Engine 5 The Complete Beginners Course by David Nixon on Udemy. It's a comprehensive and beginner-friendly course that covers all the essential aspects of working with Unreal Engine 5. I personally found it to be an excellent resource and I'm sure you'll benefit from it too. Check it out by following my link in the description below. Once again, Thanks for watching and supporting the channel. If you'd like to help me create more content like this, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon. The contributions I get through Patreon make a huge difference in keeping this channel going. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to make sure you don't miss my upcoming tutorials. Your support and engagement mean the world to me and help my channel continue to grow. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.